What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Power Everse, and you're currently watching Vlog 16. What's going on ladies and gentlemen YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is vlog number 16. Um, just some updates uh, to see how you guys are doing. So I haven't been uploading. I've been just really sick. I'm starting to get better. Um, I was actually sick on the 4th of July, which totally sucked because I, you know, wasn't in the mood for doing anything. I just lit my fireworks just to get it done. So I'm sorry uh, there won't be any demos. Uh, from my fourth, I'm totally sorry. I know I say I'm sorry almost every time I almost to say I do demos, but I'm gonna make it up and I swear, I hope, you know, I can get some stuff out for you guys and see what I can do. Um, I'm actually not this week, but the next week, it'll be the July 24th. I'm actually going to uh, Tennessee, so I'll be doing some vlogging down there, getting some footage down there, possibly going to North Carolina. Um, uh, from driving from Tennessee, North Carolina, we don't know yet. Probably won't be doing that, we don't know, but we're just, you know, gonna play it by ear. But I'll be getting some vlogs, um, see what we can get down there. Gonna be, uh, you know, doing some vlogs, like I said, down there. Um, so if you guys are in there, I'll be down Pigeon Forge Strip. Um, just come say hello. Uh, hopefully, you can notice me by my face. I don't know if my camera's going blurry, but it kind of looks like I'm on the little screen. I'm trying to keep a watch on that as well. Um, so yeah, you know, my 4th of July, even though I was sick than the dog, wasn't really feeling well, um, had a very stuffed up nose, coughing, all that stuff, you know, what you get when you're sick. Um, some people have been asking me how much have I spent on my 4th of July stash from this past 4th of July. I spent around, uh, $1,250 around there. I was closer to 1300 than you know in the middle of there basically more like 1250 ish 1200 somewhere in there um but i have actually started looking into getting um looking at stuff to buy for the 2017 not for new year's i don't know if i'm going to do any new year shooting um but if i do hopefully i'll be able to catch that hopefully it's not like you know it's i live in michigan so we always get snow but we don't know what it's going to be like in, uh, you know, January. Like this Jan past last last January, there was no snow on the ground. Um, it actually only snowed a little bit for December for Christmas. So yeah, um, I'll see what if I can do any shooting. I don't know if I'm going to do any shooting on uh, New Year's, but uh, we'll just play it by ear and I'll let you guys know in a vlog or something if I'll be shooting on, uh, you know, New Year's. Um, but I will start be doing vlogs down in Tennessee, like I said. Hopefully you guys will enjoy those. Um, just tell me what you guys have been up to. And a lot of you actually have been wondering where that store tour was. I've actually, we've been so slammed. We actually, it was I was actually supposed to do it a week before the 4th. But I got called in to work and we were just slammed. If you guys don't know what I mean by slammed, you guys are saying, you know, working at a firework store is easy. But you're getting truckloads of shipments from on like semis and all that and you have to unload that into your warehouse and you have to do all of this inventory log which is actually really boring but like doing inventory sucks but when you're selling the stuff it's not bad because you can talk to customers and i've been you know since i've been working since i worked there i've been noticed about seven times when people say hey are you power universe and you know i think that's a really a cool thing of how many people are actually in my area that actually watch my channel so yeah, I am sorry that won't be happening. I'm seeing, I'm gonna actually just talk to my manager um, to see if I actually can still get a video out. But we have a lot of, right now, since you know it's the off season, I consider it, either another store, Motor Cities and Red Apples open year round. They don't have as much stock as they do during the season, if that makes sense. Cause you can look at one shelf and there might, there's always product in the store. They always keep them stocked. It's just, you might see some, you know, gaps where product used to be, but there's no longer product there. And I know maybe they're gonna start, you know, filling the shelves at my store because we have a lot of gaps. We sold a lot of product this year. Um, Cause Birch Run store is not a permanent store. Um, it's a uh, only seasonal store, so we're going to get their product in, and you know if that fills their shelf. I, I'll stop by there, and say, hey, I'm going to you know make a video for you guys, because I know I promised you guys that video, and I want to get that video out. But we were just slammed on the fourth. We had like 
a lot of people, like on the 4th, we had about, I'd say 300 people in the store at once, which for a, a small store, that was a lot of people. But, um, you know, I want to do something for you guys. And then, like I said, I'm going to start working on my 2017 list. And you guys are going to say, Pyro Evers, how can you work on a 2017 fireworks stash if it's not even, um, you know, May or August? April, sorry. Not August. I always get those two uh, months mixed up when I say them. I don't know why. Um, but I personally, people say, well, why, you know, I get comments all the time. Why are you starting your stash this early? Or why, why are you talking about 2017 4th of July when it's just actually almost over? Well, I go to stuff like I go to Black Friday shops. You know, I don't really buy anything from Black Friday. But I just look and I estimate of what prices are and I compare. I possibly might be buying something from Black Friday this year, but I'm not 100% sure. Whatever is on sale. Because some, some of the stuff that's on sale really doesn't interest me. It's either the cakes that suck, but that are usually on sale, not the good stuff. And not like salutes, but like the good 500 grams or good 200 grams. Those are never on sale. But um, so a lot of people said the pyro stuff sucked this year. Uh, the Pyro Star stuff was actually really awesome. I really enjoyed the Pyro Star. Uh, the product I had from Pyro Star was electric finale set, the party time finale set, and exclusives were the things I had from the finale set. Yep. And, you know, they blew me away. They were really good. I liked the colors. And then the Red Apple Poker stuff that you got for free for every $300 spent was top of the line excellent um so um you know really good i really like the shells um really awesome hopefully they have some good sales on shells you know actually what i'm going to tell you guys the truth i've you know since i've started looking at the product i'm not going to buy as many shells as i did this year this year i had around uh 100 and some shells that was just a long time since i was just you know, dropping into a fire, dropping into a firing. I didn't have any racks or anything. I don't know if I'm gonna get racks. Um, a lot of you guys say, you know, get racks, get racks, but you know, I just haven't came around to buying racks. <laughs> um, but it was just, it was fun, but boring at the same time to drop 100 and some tubes or shells and tubes, you know, because then you have to drop them, you have to pause your show, you have to rechange them after you get through six or seven shells, and then wait for that to cool down, cool down, and then. But I might just buy, you know, two boxes this year. I don't really know yet. I might just, you know, stick with two boxes of the uh, stuff. Or if a case is on sale, I might buy a rack. Who knows what I'll do. But I plan on to get around 18 cases of, you know, between 500 grams and 200s. More 500 grams. I actually only have about two cases. The product I'm getting, I'd consider them 350s. The, uh, you know, like I said, 200 grams. I'm getting... 18, 17, 16, 16 cases of 500 grams, and I'm getting two cases of 200 grams, but I say they're 200 grams because they sometimes act like 200s or they act like 350s, and um, I'll be sharing that list as it gets closer to when I start, um, you know, finishing it. There's some people walking in my house. It's about, what time is it? Let me check on my phone. It's 10.44 at night when I'm doing this vlog, so you guys can see that. It's 10.44 at night on July 11th um so yeah um I do have some leftovers so there will be a part one to my 2017 fireworks stash part one coming very soon and it's you know just some firecracker leftovers you'll just see what they are and you know nothing really big just why not just start a 2017 fireworks stash part uno so I'll be doing that, and then for the main event, I'll be placing my wholesale order, and I'll tell you guys, you know, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm buying, but, um, you know, I'm placing the wholesale order in January, probably middle of January, and I have an estimated time already of when it's supposed to be in. Um, I'll be getting it in April at the beginning of April or the middle of April because that's when all the stuff is. And you guys are wondering why would I put a wholesale order in January? Well, that's when my store orders, Motor City orders for a product and they ship it over to China and they say, hey, I want this. 
and then they say, okay, we'll create that product for you, and then they ship it overseas. Actually, you know, to get information to China, I don't know if they do it by email, not for 100%, I don't know what they do. But, or if they go to China and say, hey, I want this. I don't, I'm pretty sure they maybe go to China, my company, but I really don't know. I should, I should know, but I really don't know. But I know they go to China, you know, and they talk to them. But when product is in China, it takes them time to make, you know, then, or if they even have it, you know, if they already have it, they'll just, you know, put it in box say, here we go, there you go. Um, sorry I keep on zooming, my light, or my uh, screen right here on this side of the screen is starting to go dark, and I was making sure the video quality lighting is not dark so sorry about that um this might be a long vlog i'm not going to get it over 15 minutes so yeah um so when it when it gets closer to april it takes when they ship fireworks from china to america it actually is a long process because at least for motor city fireworks it, it, what it does is it when it comes from china when it's already come to america it takes two days by boat or ship by sea why they ship it in sea yes it goes by it goes by a cargo ship and huge metal crates and then it goes to Pahrumpf, it goes to wherever it docks at the ship it loads onto a plane or no not a plane it loads onto a semi that semi from wherever that goes drives to nevada that goes from nevada to all the to uh, mount clements in michigan the store in uh, motor city so it's going from China, two day boats, or two day ship, to wherever it docks, gets on semis, goes to Las Vegas, Nevada, to Prompt, Nevada, to the Red Apple store. Red Apple then ships it all out to uh, whatever is going to Motor City Company, goes all the way out to Mount Clements, to Michigan, then Mount Clements delivers it to every single location of Motor City. So usually we get them, you know, April, beginning of April, middle of April, so almost in time for the season so yep that's what i'm doing i'm gonna be spinning between you know i've already got it confirmed with my family my parents um it is my last year so it'll be awesome um it's my last year of school yes i'm 17 yes i'll be 18 by the time i order my wholesale heck yeah i'll get to buy fireworks for my first time i'm so pumped um so you guys are probably saying well how do you get fireworks if you haven't bought them well the process it's my money the process is when we get to the store, I pick out the product, put it on the cart, get up to the cash register, hand my parents the money, and there you go. Too bad I can't pay for my own fireworks, but coming this year, 2017, I'll be paying for my own stuff. I'm super happy. I'll be able to go into a fireworks store, whatever I want, show them, you know, birth certificate, whatever, ID, and say, I'm going to buy some fireworks. So that's what I'll be doing. And uh, I've already got to confirm with my parents of how much I'll be spending. I'll be spending about 15 to eighteen hundred dollars this year um and the reason why i say fifteen eighteen hundred dollars because my uncle uses chips in so hopefully uncle if you're watching the video make sure you chip in you know and uh if you want to at least um i really accept that my uncle contributed to, uh three hundred dollars and three no, four hundred dollars this year. Sorry, it's three eighty-eight basically, but I consider it four hundred dollars. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, guys, this is about it for vlog sixteen. Um, you know, I'll be doing some, like I said, some vlogging down in Tennessee. So this is Monday. Um, I don't know if the next vlog would be out on Monday. It might be Tuesday. I don't remember what day we're getting home. We're supposed to be down there a week, but it's like a. 10 11 hour drive down there for uh, where i am i mean it says eight hours on gps but by the time you stop and eat and go to the bathroom at rest stops and fill up in gas it's about you know a couple hours more hour and a half more than what this says so yeah guys i hope you liked this video hope i didn't bore you too much don't forget to stay tuned to my channel to watch my 2017 fireworks dash part one for the 2017 fourth of july year um just a couple leftovers no cakes nothing really fancy just something i want to you know start for a 2017 fire stash part one so you guys don't forget to keep an eye on my channel um for exclusive footage from pigeon forge tennessee and surveyorville tennessee and awesome stuff like that guys so thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel i recently hit 300 subs um 
I'm thinking about doing something for that. So if you guys want to continue subscribing, it's always a pleasure for you guys to subscribe. It's always a nice, you know, tells me people care about my channel. People love watching my channel. Um, so yeah. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I, you know, will keep uploading. So you guys, this does it for me in this video. Once again, I am Pyro Uverse. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy my channel or enjoy watching any of my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now to become a Pyro Uverse member, as I call it. And comment on any of these videos or on this video if you liked it or whatever. I don't know if I said that. But yeah, guys, this has been your boy Pyro Uverse. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos we'll see you next time on pyro universe